out a little bit more, we got some more over the back. So we're definitely going to learn from it. Um, we obviously did not play a team this big the rest of the season. So if we watch how we were boxing out on these guys, we'll be a lot better. Coach, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Coach, talk about Jody Lemons tonight. She yeah. How awesome. What a great surprise. Um, we've been very impressed with Jody since she's, you know, stepped on campus. But um, if you would have told me Jody was our leading scorer tonight, I don't know if I would have believed you. So um, I'm really excited about that. You know, we're trying to get um, our starting five together and six, seven man, and, and Jody really stood out tonight. Shot the ball well, got to the free throw line. Uh, almost looks like she's our leading rebounder as well. So very pleased with Jody. Very. There's a lot of Division One teams out there you can play. Do you really like playing somebody at this level to show you maybe what's not quite right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, just because all these kids dream about playing at this level anyways when they're little, um, especially being from North Carolina. I'm not even from North Carolina, and everybody knows about Duke basketball all over the country. So just the opportunity is what we're going to take from it. Um, I never got to play here, obviously. I don't know if I'll ever have another team get to do it again. I don't know. So it's definitely the opportunity. Um, who gets to say they coached and played in Cameron? Not a whole lot of people. It felt like half of Meisenheimer was here tonight. <laughs> half? I think that was all of Meisenheimer. Possibly. I didn't want to go that far, but if you said it, not me. Yeah, I'm very happy about our fan support. Um, all the students and the faculty and the families that came out. I think that says a lot about where our programs come from. Coach, um, with, the, with the turnovers, obviously Duke is quicker, longer, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Did you feel your team just wasn't strong enough with the ball at times, especially in helping each other out? Absolutely. Um, first thing is we were dribbling way too much. Um, dribbling with our head down, and we weren't meeting our passes. We talked a lot about meeting the pass. Um, we were kind of scared. We were backing away from it a lot of times. You know, our goal in conference and then throughout our schedule is, you know, 17 turnovers a game. Um, we knew we were going to be higher this game, so that's okay. Um, again, it'll just be, it's going to be a great learning point on film because we're really going to see ourselves not meeting the ball, dribbling with our head down. But really, I mean, we just didn't play big. It didn't really matter if we were five foot or if they were six five. We did not play big when we had the ball. What was it like um, coaching against a player with the unique skill set of Chelsea Gray, who seemed to be everywhere tonight? <laughs> I was uh, um, starstruck watching her a little bit. What a player. Um, gr again, great opportunity to say that they played against her. and and got to play against someone that's physical. Because like I said, we're not going to see something like that the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> and this was um, Elizabeth Williams' first game in a, in a Duke uniform. Comment on, on her game and what you think she did well and, and how, you, how you try to deal with her. Uh, rebounding, obviously. Um, a lot of, if I remember correctly, it looked like a lot of second chance points. I mean, those, those guys just clean up the boards well. Um, runs well in transition. We did not fan the, ba the basket at all in transition tonight. Um, I bet if you watched film and broke that down, you know, however many points they had, way over half came from transition. And those kids just get out and run the floor. 